GarageBand has a whole bunch of additional sounds here in the sound library. So when you open GarageBand, you can go to the sound library and here is all the packs that you can actually download. There's a heap of them. There's like 50 of them that we've got in here now, but it can be a little bit difficult to manage, especially if you're using a device that has lower storage amounts. So let's show you how we can actually manage these. So you'd probably be aware that you download a pack. We tap on it here. Let's just delete this one so that I can show you how it works. So if we didn't have this uh, Ultimate 808s pack, we would tap on it here. You can either preview it. Hear that 808 sound and then just hit the get button and it's going to download this to your library. That's cool and it's very easy to do, but there's so many packs now that it can be difficult to manage. So what have GarageBand done? Well, they've gone and popped this up here, your manage packs option. So if we tap on that one, we can now actually see all of the installed packs. So I can see that I've got three gigabytes, 3,170 megabytes to be precise, of installed packs. So you can see exactly how much space those are taking up and you can come down here and any that you don't have, so I've removed these, you'll see the little get button next to. So you can just hit the get button there and there you go, that'll start downloading those, which makes it really simple. If you wanna do some management, so you're like, you know what, I'm never gonna use the Skyline heat pack, you can hit the edit button here and you can literally just tap on these and delete. So just like you would any other apps or in anything else, you can do this, Prismatica, if I want to delete that, you can do that and it goes away. I wouldn't recommend it because Prismatica is awesome. And then once they're deleted, if you go down to the bottom, it pops them down here. So you always know the ones you don't have in your regular packs here are going to be down the bottom there. And the exact same thing for your artist and producer packs. So if we uh, hit the edit button here and say we get rid of Mark Letary, which again, I wouldn't recommend because it's a cool pack, then it pops it straight to the bottom there and you can just hit get again. So it just gives you a quick and easy way to visualize all the packs rather than going through here and tapping each one and working out if you have it or don't have it. Just go to your manage packs, scroll down on through and make sure you've got everything. Or if there's packs you're not using, you want to save some space, you can delete them and you're good to go.